what's good YouTube? It's your boy Jay and I'm back at it with another video. Now, in today's video, I will show you guys how to win every court conquer that come into NBA 2K19. So every time it come around, you guys will know the sauce to win. Now look bro, before we get into the video, before we get into the method on what to do, for one, you gotta have these three archetypes. For your point guard, make, it, make sure it's a play sharp or some type of shooting point guard with a with ball control that can speed boost. So basically, a play sharp. For the two, make sure it's a pure sharp shooter or a pure scratch or a sharp shooting primary then shot creating secondary. One of those. And for the three, just, just get a center with high strength. As you see, we got a glass cleaner at our three. This all you want to do. Get a glass cleaner or whoever your center is, the ball. Get them the ball the whole game. Let them body whoever they up against. Because nine times out of ten, bro, it going to be small for it. You really don't see a center. And once, if you do see a center, I got two game plays. So I will show you guys what to do if you find somebody that can clamp up your center. But look, so basically you just give him the ball the whole game. He got high strength. As you see, the AI can't do nothing, bro. He has high screen. He's dunking, bro. This is a pure glass cleaner. Just imagine a rebounding athletic or something in that. You feel me? Up there with that. It would be GG's. But anyways, as you see, we off to the races again, bro. All, all you want to do is just let him. As you see, I was open. He tried to give it to him. But I give the ball right back to him. Just let him kill whoever he is checking. It's an AI. Now, the good thing about this is when your center get his takeover, they will double team. So that's why I said have a play sharp and like a pure sharp or something at the two that can shoot. As you see, easy rebound, easy fast break, bro. But have somebody that can shoot, as you're going to see in the gameplay, they will double team, bro. Now, is and that's why we have the pure rim. Well, he brought his pure rim to because he just made him and he want to play with him. I didn't expect to win this anyway, bro. I really didn't expect to win this. I was just playing for fun. But we end up winning. As you see, he got his takeover. So he gonna dunk. So we found out this method, like, after getting our ass beat by Jordan three times. After the third time, we found out a, we found out what to do. Let the center kill Kobe. You feel me? At first we wasn't thinking, we were like, God damn, he didn't Kobe. But then when when well when my brain clicked together, cause they didn't even realize so I told him. But you just let the center do this the whole game. As you see, my man gonna help. Look, look. That nigga over there like, hell nah, bro. Get down here with me. Bang. And then when the point guard light him up, bro. That's all you want to do. Use the center to back down until he get grant. I mean, until he get takeover. Once he get takeover and he back down, they will double team. And he just throw it to the open shoot. It's an easy splash. As you see, the rim protector ended up getting the clutch block. They made me do a stupid layup. Because I keep forgetting that these is three lockdowns. So... Yeah, that's gonna happen. It's three lockdown, but there go the rim protector. He get another stop. As you see, I'm down. I end up shooting the easy. I mean, three end up missing it. But look at the glass, Horson. He a dog down there, bro. So that's why I said, bro. Instead of running a stretch at the three and all this other jump, run a center with high strength and just let him work the whole game, bro. Believe me, bro. It'll take a lot off y'all chest, bro. Off y'all, off y'all shoulder, bro. It'll do a lot for you. Just let the center with high strength bring the ball up. And you see, they end up throwing me the ball for that mid range. He told me to shoot, so I shot it. You feel me? Because I ain't think he was going to jump out there that quick, but I still end up making the shot. But I have another gameplay just in case. Like I said, your center getting clamped up or lagging or whatever the case may be. I got another gameplay with a whole nother method. Now, I don't know if this method is going to work against everybody, but. It will work if it's a center at the one. As you see, I hit that easy three. Like this next game is against Kevin Garnett though. If you guys play court conquer today, you will know that they they was running three centers today. I right, it was three centers. 2K even on that three center shit. You feel me? They was running three centers. So, hey, that game play up next, bro. If you made it this far in the video, bro, go on, hit that sub button, bro. Give me a like, you know what I'm saying? It's highly appreciated. But as you see, they end up dunking. So they end up trying to make slowly a comeback, you feel me? We really end up playing right here. As you see, like, Tutu was like, hey, man, man, I want a point, too. Let me, let me try to do it. 
but he's a pure rim protector, so his strength is nowhere. You feel me? He getting clamped. He in the box. So after that, I'm like, nah, tight. You gonna kill it, bro. So I was saying in in part of chat, like, let them score, bro. You feel me? We try. I would, at this moment after you know doing what I was doing. See, I could have. Hey, I gave it to the center, bro. So I'm like, bro, gonna do what you were doing. He gave it back. I should have pulled that. And you see, I'm trying to throw it to him, but that animation you cannot pass out of. So he ended up hot stepping his big dumb ass right out of bounds. He ended up hot stepping right out of bounds. So look, man. I, I was in the party like, bro, just let them go. You feel me? Because at this point, man, I'm trying to win now. I know what we can do. We got the sauce. You feel me? I'm trying to win. So. He going to end up passing Tutu the ball. Tutu going to pass it back to him. And boom. We going to kill the game right here, bro. So you just let him do that the whole game. You see they double teaming. He got, you feel me? He got baited a little bit. But I end up putting it anyway. So let's get on to the next game, man. Let's go. All right, man. This is the second gameplay. Now, this is a gameplay that I found that, you feel me, I went off. You feel me? Like, the rest of the court conquers Tyrese, he took over with the, you feel me, bagging them down and throwing it to the open man. That worked for every court except this court. Now, when we got on this court, we found that out early, like, that I was going to have to take over since I had the power forward on me, right? I'm faster than him on offense, right? And I can shoot threes great. So, we had, I found that out in the beginning of the game. So, as you see, he ended up early ball, I'm like, right here, bro, right here, right so, this game, I didn't let Ty, well, he tried, he attempted to do what he do, you feel me? But you see, I end up making that shot. Now, once he tried it that one time, the dude end up stopping him. Like, Tyrese couldn't put him in the paint, you feel me? And there go that rim protect. That's why we had him. Easy fast break, easy three. He playing back green. Come here, stupid. Now, look. <laughs> look. Just pay attention, you guys. Pay attention. That's why I say you have to have a play sharp and some other type of shooter on your team. Just in case your center going up against somebody that got equal equal strength or more strength, then it's going to be GG. He's going to box your center shit. So you got to do what you got to do. So at this moment, at this point, as you see they double team, so I'm like, nah, Ty, do your thing. Then he ended up getting the steal. So after this day, I said, all right, that was my fault, bro. That was my fault. That was my fault. I should have never passed that fast. I'm panic passing. You feel me? Because I'm getting double team. You don't never pull the panic pad, but right there at that moment, I did it against AI. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, so I end up giving him the ball back there so nothing can happen. You feel me? We got a two point lead. This after this game, we got one more. We had one more game to win, bro. As you see, the center end up bossing my center shit. I'm like, damn. I'm like, bro. Oh no. See, at this point, I'm like, bro. We already. As you see, he hit him with a nice little year up. But at this point, I'm like, damn, bro. Just let me do me then, bro. So I waited for both of them to get up there. So I came up court, hit him with a behind the back. They never pick up, step back, easy butt. That's another method you can do. If you playing a team and your center getting this shit boxed, like getting clamped up, just go wait for your center to set a screen. Go up court, do a behind the back. As you see, I guess he was lagging right there. Go up court, do the, a behind the back and shoot, bro. So, after we found out Ty couldn't do nothing, I'm like, oh, yeah, bro, just let me do this. And you see, that time he came up, now they setting double screen. And you see, I end up getting an easy ankle breaker, end up shooting that, bang! That's why I said have a play sharp. He got ball handling and can shoot great. He can leave his man in the dust and green up, bro. That's why I say you need to have a play sharp on your team. Mixed with it like a, another type of shooter, just in case you're doing the uh, center method where the center back him down. But you see, they end up getting an easy one. Now, at this point, it was GG for me, because, bro, I got takeover. As you guys know, I'm a 95, so I got both the sharpshooting and the playmaker. And you see, I end up rocking them there. Got them praying, come here. You feel me? It ain't green, but it's green, man. So, let's go 15 10, man. This, this is what you want to do whenever you playing against a center that can clamp your center. Let the guard come up. Well, no, the guard let the center come up, set the screen, and the guard go up court, do it behind the back. You feel me? You try to get open and shoot the three. Or you can do double screen. Whichever one floats your boat, you feel me? But when your takeoff come on, if you a play sharp, I would prefer the ISO. I mean, it don't work all the time. You see, I end up rocking them right there. I see tie down the middle, cutting, easy done. You 
feel me? So look, man. That's all you want to do, bro. I'm going to tell you guys right now. This court conquer shit, bro, it's the easiest event 2K has ever gave us. It's free VC, bro. Like, you don't have to do nothing but whoop a couple AI asses. Y'all do that in my career anyway. You feel me? Grinding real. As you see, end up getting another anchor burger. Great. That's why I say you gotta have a play sharp on your team, bro. He don't even have to be a 94. As long as you can get the anchor breakers, you straight. As you see, our center end up getting a steal right there. GG's, man. Hey, it's your boy Jay, and I'm out. Y'all have a wonderful day, bro. Peace.